One of the top racers from the 2022 Budapest World Championships came in the men's 100 meter backstroke. Italian swimmer Thomas Checon put in an incredible performance to come away with the gold medal ahead of Americans Ryan Murphy and Hunter Armstrong and also hit a surprise world record in the process. Let's go through that amazing swim and look to see how he managed to drop the world record by 0.25 of a second. There's something that I want to bring up with you guys, which I think is quite interesting, actually. There's going to be a camera shot looking right the way across the pool at all of the swimmers here. Here, I'll pause it. All of the swimmers right now have different hand placements on the block or on the bar. You can see Robert Glinter here at the front's kind of got a side-on approach. Then Murphy, the one up again, has got his palms facing downwards. And roughly speaking, they've all got their hands in slightly different positions, height-wise, hand placement. And the person we're going to be look at here, if I can zoom in right here or get a little focus, is Thomas Checon in the in the black hat, of course. His hands are right at the top. I mean, I don't think you can get any higher, to be honest with you. He's got the side-on approach, which is quite interesting. Um, I'm not sure there's any kind of benefit to where you position your hands. I think it's all come down to individual preference, quite frankly. But if I wind on while, while they say take your marks, it's quite interesting because of that high hand placement, he's able to lift himself completely out of the water so much higher than everyone else. You can already see in lane five, his, his, his nose is almost touching the block. That's how high he's lifting himself up. He's got a nice straight back as well, which should make his push off nice and strong um, compared to everyone else. Everyone's got a bit of an arch back. I just thought it was quite interesting. Anyway, let's get into the race here. Strong underwaters from every swimmer. You kind of expect that on backstroke nowadays. 15 metres by everyone. Ryan Murphy's always got the best start. He's quicker soft lock every single time. But we're here to talk about Thomas Check on here. There's going to be an overhead shot. Here you go. And if I pause it correctly. Oh, amazing. His hand position or his hand entry on every single stroke is perfectly in line with his head, which is absolutely ideal on backstroke. You don't want to be going too far over your head. You don't want to be going too wide because you do want a good catch on the water. And I think Thomas Checkon, I'm pretty safe in saying this, his catch on backstroke is absolutely phenomenal. Probably one of the best in the world, if not the best in the world at the catch. There's a fantastic video out there on YouTube that you should see of an underwater camera and he's in the flume and he's going as fast as he can and you can really see the catch. The hand placement sets up that catch really, really nicely. If I play on a little bit more, the rotation through the shoulders and the hips is absolutely fantastic, which then helps with the power of the catch, of course. And throughout this whole length, I've noticed that his stroke rate is relatively steady. I feel like he's concentrating on that technique, on that catch to make sure that he is holding as much water as possible throughout every single stroke. Comes into the turn here. I know Murphy's leading here. He goes underneath the world record split, actually, which is really interesting. The underwaters here, Ryan Murphy, if I pause it just on exit here. Yeah, Ryan Murphy has one of the best, probably if the best, actually, uh, underwater backstroke uh, dolphin kick, I would say. And Thomas Checon probably stays level with him which just shows how strong he is at the underwaters as well as the um, incredible technique he has on top of the water here. He uses that momentum from the turn really, really nicely. We're going to have an overhead shot here where he's pulling Ryan Murphy in. Again, the technique doesn't really change. Well, it shouldn't change at the elite level, but he's holding on to that water. He's keeping the efficiency so well. You'd think going into the last 15 meters here that the tempo must be increased, but he he maintains it. He keeps it going all the way. And actually, what's really interesting last 15 meters, he keeps his chin really, really high, helping with that body position in the water. 51.6 is an amazing time. I just didn't expect anything like that. The back end speed is definitely what made him win this race, I would say. He went out in a 25-1 to then come back in a 26-4. That is not too much of a drop off on a 100 meter backstroke swim. That really is fantastic back end speed. And I think this guy's going to be a world beater. I mean, he already is. He's a world record holder. He has got fantastic potential. He's still very, very young. And I think he's got another world record in him. I think he's going to do it again. Well, there we have it. If there's anything to learn from this race, it's that holding your technique, your form, your catch or hold on the water throughout the whole race is really important, especially when it comes to the final 15 meters of the race. Or that having a tash is the way forward. <laughs> a brilliant race from Thomas Checon, and we look forward to seeing what he can do in the future. That's it for this video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the Propulsion Swimming YouTube channel as we will be putting more swimming content out very, very soon. Until then, I'll catch you on the next one.